We are going to create this beautiful flower valley together. Very simple. Film, blank, name it something like flower valley, then create. Once it's open, you can directly start by creating a new level and select basic. We're already ready to start building the environment. We don't need this ground, so just click on it, then press delete. Now save this level by doing control plus S on your keyboard. Then choose a name. This is the name of the level, not the name of the project. We already named the project at the beginning when we created it. Valley is the level we just created. Main is the name of the default level we started with. Click on selection mode and then landscape. This big grid is where the ground will appear. That's way too big for the simple project we're doing. Also, you can change the camera speed with this slider. Since it's too big, you can change its size here. I'll put it to two. That should work. Click create. Now the base of the terrain is created. And we got this giant brush that will allow us to sculpt mountains. You can play around with the tool strength and the brush size and build your ground. And if you're not happy with the last move, you can always just do control plus Z on your keyboard. Having a clear idea in mind of what you want the final result to be will certainly help a lot with sculpting the ground. After this, we'll add the ground material, the grass, the flowers, and set up lighting, fog, and clouds. Okay, back to selection mode. And then if you got that red error message, just hit play then escape. Now let's add a camera, plus cinematic cine camera actor. Then if you click on perspective, you can get in the camera view. Now I'm just placing the camera where I want it to be. While the camera is selected in the outliner, scroll down a little and change the focal length. Yep, 15 looks good to me. Now do control plus L on your keyboard. And while you keep holding those keys, move your cursor around and it will move the sun. Doesn't really matter for now, we'll place it later. Select the exponential height fog and let's just find a good value for it. That's something we will change later too, so not so important for now. Again, Control plus L moves the sun. Okay, scroll down a little more in the fog settings. See volumetric fog? Try it out. Now the fog is way too strong. I'll just lower it a little. Now let's find a material for that ground and some grass and flowers. Open bridge. You could search for wild grass. This one is perfect. If you're not sure of what your computer can handle, I highly recommend you download everything at low quality. Great, now download that. And then add it to your project. That's for the ground material. Now we need some 3D plants this wild grass will work. So again, low quality download, then add to project. Now we need some flowers. I'll take those golden rods. And these rush? And yeah, definitely the field poppy too. Oh, look at those sea thrift. I think that's all we need. So select the ground, 
aka landscape. So scroll down a little, well, not that much, just a little. And there you have landscape material. The grass material was called wild grass, so search for that. You can see the texture repeats itself way too much. Let's change that. Double click on the material. Check tiling. Open it with this little triangle. And then put these numbers down. Making them lower will kind of zoom in in the texture. Good, now click on save, then close this window. See, it repeats itself a lot less now. Okay, time to add the plants. But first, get out of the camera by clicking on this. Click on selection, but this time it's not landscape, it's foliage. Remember, you can adjust the camera speed here. Okay, ready? All of the foliage assets you downloaded are here. The grass and all the flowers. Click the first one. Scroll to the last one, hold shift on your keyboard, and click on the last one. Then click on the checkbox. Now that all assets are selected, you can paint them. It's not really good right now. Way too many flowers and we barely see the grass. So control plus C to undo that. What you want to do now is to unselect everything. Search for grass, select all the grass, and put the density to something big like 2000. Now I can check all the grass and... Well, first, if you want to make sure it worked, you can see all the individual grass assets are at 2,000 of density. Yeah, so now check them all. And if you click, you got a lot of grass. And it's looking pretty good. Unselect all of that and remove the search. Now I'm selecting all the foliage assets, except the grass. That means this represents the density of all the flowers, and only the flowers. I'll put it to 10. So let's just select everything and see what we got. Hmm, nah, not enough flowers. You can use the Erase tool to clean that. And back to Paintbrush. Unselect all of that. And now I want more of the red flower. Oh, it's not called red. What is it? Oh yeah, it's Poppy. Poppy. Select all the Poppy and make it 50. Okay, much better. Control Z. And unselect those poppy. Delete the search. And now there was a yellow flower that I want to hire the density. Rush Daffodil? Is it this one? You know what? I can select just this one and see what it is. Yep, certainly what I was talking about. Okay, so search for Rush. Then select them all and put their density to 50. Yeah, that's good. When you're doing this, remember that this is only the rush flowers. That doesn't show the other flowers in the grass. Now let's select absolutely everything. Okay, I think we're good now. Let's get in the camera. Well, not now, I'll just erase this first. Now in the camera. And I'll just, oh, I'm still on the eraser. Could work better with the paintbrush. What I'm doing right now is that I erased all the plants. I went in the camera view and now I'm painting only what the camera sees, so the computer don't have to work too hard. Okay, back to selection mode. 
Got to save by doing Control plus S, and now I'm trying to find a good sun position by holding Control plus L. Maybe I'll change the fog a little. I've put the fog density to 0.2. I want a different camera position. To slowly move it like this, I am holding the middle click on my mouse. Let's now try some different camera settings. Just play around with focal length and see what looks good. Choose something. Personally, I'll keep it at 15. And now I am placing the camera. Having this plant really close to the camera could look really good. If you go in the camera settings, you'll see aperture. Put this lower and the close plant will get blurrier. But 2.8 looks just perfect. Now I want to change the fog settings again. I put it at 0.4, at least for now. Click anywhere in the scene, just to select the viewport. And now you can hold Ctrl and L on your keyboard to move the sun again. I think I want to change the fog again. Zero point four was looking really good, but I think I prefer zero point two, really as you want. A big part of this scene are the clouds. You can change their settings too. Just move around those two first options and see what it does to the clouds. I think this looks great. Now, if you want to add a tree in your scene, that's something I show in my tutorial series alongside many other simple-to-follow environments.